Welton, you are on the road with IV with the Dell Entrepreneur in Residence campaign here at South by Southwest Eco. We are talking to William Shutkin, the president and CEO of Presidio Graduate School. Welcome. Thanks, Ingrid. Good Great to, to be here. Good to see you. Okay, tell us a little bit about the Presidio School. What makes you guys so special? We're among the first and leading sustainability graduate schools in the world. Uh, in fact, the Huffington Post ranked us the number one green MBA program in the world ahead of Michigan and Stanford and Yale. Uh, we're eight years old. We have about 500 alumni, about 250 students currently enrolled, and we offer two degrees, a Master of Business, business Administration and a Master of Public Administration, as well as Executive Ed. That is really impressive to get Thank those you. kind of rankings. What do you think has been critical to your success? Uh, being based in San Francisco has helped. The, the brand of San Francisco in terms of attracting the up-and-coming entrepreneur uh, has, has helped us a lot. We're actually based in the Presidio, which is a great experiment in green urban living. It's a public-private partnership, a national park, and home to some of the most innovative technology companies and nonprofits uh, uh, in the country. Well, speaking of technology and being in the middle of all of that, I'm really curious from a technology standpoint, if you have as your really promoting uh, sustainability in education. Have you seen any unique applications of technology that have really moved the industry forward? Well, uh, there's a host. In fact, the school is focused in a variety of ways on the intersection of technology and sustainability. So for example, we're very interested as a matter of our research in the evolution of the so-called smart city model for urban development and how OEMs, technology companies like Cisco and Hewlett Packard and Siemens can deliver their technology to make cities smarter and greener, to improve the quality of life and affordability of cities by way of technology. So smart meters and smart cars, electric vehicles, uh, houses that are powered by uh, carbon-free electric. This is part of a smart city framework that's really a collection of technologies embedded in public policy and entrepreneurship making our communities greener and, and better. If somebody wants to learn more about those smart cities, I mean, could they plug into the Presidio Graduate School and kind of learn more about that? They, they could in our curriculum, and many of the, the big companies also are promoting their smart city programs. Interesting. Well, thank you very much, William. Nice thank to you, see Andrew. you. Great Appreciate to see you. it.